If you want to learn how to create this amazing dashboard in 10 minutes, then this video is for you. Let's roll up our sleeves and start working. Step 1. Data Investigation To begin, let's take a closer look at the data and gain a better understanding of its structure and content. Upon examining our dataset, it is evident that it contains information pertaining to orders. The dataset encompasses 21 columns and 9,994 rows, providing a substantial amount of data to work with. Some of the key columns within our dataset include customer name, segment, state, sales, and more. That's perfect. Now, let's return to Google Looker Studio to continue our dashboard creation process. Let me demonstrate how you can connect a Google Sheets data source to your Google Looker Studio dashboard. Let's click on that option. That's perfect. Let's click on this. And that's it. Step 2. Establish a plan of action. First, let's shift our focus to designing the dashboard and creating meaningful titles. This will help provide a clear and visually appealing layout for our data. Once we have the foundation in place, we can proceed to the next step of working on our charts and visualizations. Let's get started. Step 3. Dashboard Design Now, we can begin adding shapes. To start, let's insert a shape for our header. Afterward, we can move on to inserting shapes for the charts. Let me resize this. That's perfect. Let's modify the color. That is great. Now, let me copy this. That's perfect. Now, let's rearrange and fine-tune the elements of our dashboard to achieve a more cohesive and visually pleasing layout. That's perfect. Step 4. Creating Titles Let's shift our attention to creating impactful titles for our dashboard. Titles play a crucial role in communicating the purpose and context of each chart or section. I would like also to change its font. Let's resize this a bit. Now, let's start typing. Let's copy this. I would like also to change its font. That's perfect. Let's fix this. Let's duplicate this, and place it in the desired location on the dashboard. That is great. Let's change this. Now, let's rearrange and fine-tune the elements of our dashboard That looks much better. Step 5. Creating Charts We can move on to the main part of this video. I hope you're feeling excited, because we're about to create some incredible charts. I'm gonna place it here. Okay, great. Let's select the data for our chart. Let's click on that option.
Amazing, I will also need to resize this chart. That's perfect, I'm gonna modify this visual. Let's modify the color. That is great. Let's move on to creating the next chart for our dashboard. Let's add donut chart. Let me resize this. I'm gonna place it here. That's perfect. Let's select the data for our chart. Let's click on this. Okay, great. Let's modify the color. That looks much better. Let's also modify this. Okay, great. Let's copy this. I'm gonna place it here. That's perfect. Let's select the data for our chart. That is great. Now that we have completed the creation of this chart, let's move on to the next one in our dashboard. Let's insert this one. Let's resize this a bit. Let's select the data for our chart. Let's click on this. I'm gonna also need to change this. That's perfect. Let's resize this a bit. I'm going to make some improvements to enhance its visual appeal. Let's modify the color. That is great. I will remove those grid lines. That looks much better. Excellent. Let's proceed to our next chart. Now, I'm gonna insert bar chart. I will also need to resize this chart. Let's populate our visual with the appropriate data. This will help us showcase the insights and trends we want to highlight in our dashboard. Let's also modify this. I will remove those grid lines. It looks nice. I will need to change one more thing. That looks much better. Now that we have completed the creation of this chart, let's move on to the next one in our dashboard. Let me resize this. Let's click on this. Let's select the data for our chart. Okay, great. I'm gonna modify this visual. I will remove those grid lines. That's perfect. Let's duplicate this and place it in the desired location on the dashboard. Now, I'm gonna rearrange those charts. That looks much better. 
Let's fix this. That is exactly what we wanted to see. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.